Go get your lab coat. The Oak Harbor High School Robotics Club isn't your typical class for tech nerds. Oh, sure, they've got their dancing robot, but they're also building stuff like this, a robotic decoy deer to help wildlife authorities catch poachers. People see a nice big buck with lots of points on it. <laughs> Get out and take a shot at it. So do you want to put the fingers on? Beyond that, though, is a project that has the potential to truly touch their community. They're all the same. Robotic limbs that can actually be used by people who need them. It's cool to see the kids um, understanding that they're doing good things. The limbs are designed by students and created with a 3D printer. It was the stuff of science fiction for the grandparents of students like Michael Upmark. There's no limit, really. Um, we do our best to think of things that haven't been thought of and then do that. All those in favor of such breakthroughs, please raise your robotic hand. That's right, 11-year-old Jalen Krebin is a brand new recipient of one of those limbs, an artificial arm. Uh, it was pretty cool. Jalen was born without her left arm. She says her whole life people have stared at her and felt sorry for her. Not anymore. Well, people would usually say, like, what happened to your arm? But and then instead, they would say, like, that's cool. Boom, boom. Now boom. she can do the same stuff as other kids and feels a bit more like everyone else. And she owes it all to that club at Oak Harbor High. And then Jalen's arm is so popular, the robotics class could be busy for a while. My sister um, asked the robotics team if they could make her a cat, a tail, cat tail or something. Oh, she wants a tail. Yeah. Maybe someday, but for now, the focus remains on Jalen and the class's future inventions blowing up. <laughs> In Oak Harbor, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. High five. Do you know how to play slide? High five. What? Yes, I do.